Hi there, it's Jo. I'm back with another video for Through the Craft Room Door Magazine, an online publication by Colleen Holmes. Today we're going to be making something for the holidays. Now it's going to be rather hard to get it into the uh, camera here, but I will have pictures at the beginning and at the end of this. This is what we're going to be making. It is a beautiful tool holiday wreath. Now it doesn't have to be a Christmas holiday, it could be Valentine's Day, it could be fall, it could be um, St. Patrick's Day, whatever you want it to be. Today I'm doing the holiday since we are going to start thinking about making holiday items and holiday gifts. It's very very simple to make and it actually moves pretty quick. So let me put this aside and show you what we will need in order to make this project. Okay, the project is made with tool, which is just a type of netting. I know it's kind of hard to see. I'm using white because I want to be able to change out my wreath for different uh, seasons. You could um, use black for Halloween or browns for the fall, whatever you want to do. Anyway, this is what you'll need. And this is six inches wide. And that's actually a pretty good size for what we're going to be uh, applying it to. You're also going to need embroidery hoops. I'm not even sure if any people use these anymore, but um, they're available in various sizes. This is the six inch one, and this is the one that I use to make the wreath. You can, uh, of course, get bigger and make your wreath larger. But this actually, I thought, produced a really cute size wreath. And the best part about the embroidery hoops using them, when you purchase them, you actually are going to be able to get two wreaths out of them because of the two different pieces. Now, if you can't find them at your um, craft store or maybe they're rather expensive or something, I don't even know how much they've went up to, to be honest. I've had these for years. Uh, check your local um, resale shops, such as a Goodwill or something like that. A lot of times you'll find things like that in, in there. Okay. You're also going to need a ruler to measure out your tool. Um, you're going to need some sort of string. I'm using a hemp cord just for your hanger. You're going to need some kind of a decoration, whether it be a die cut or some little ornaments that you already have, something to go around the inside edge of your wreath. And then a ribbon for your bow. And of course, a pair of scissors. Okay, so with the ruler being here, let's go ahead and get started. For the six inch wreath, I've actually found that 10 inches of tool makes a nice size wreath. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll out my tool and again, it's going to be hard to see this because of the it being a netting, but when I scratch it together, you'll be able to see it a little bit better. You're going to measure out approximately 10 inches. You don't have to be super accurate. You don't want to make it too long but you don't have to be super accurate and make it a real straight cut because that's what gives it character. Now, you're going to take your tool and you're just going to fold it in half so you have a loop at the very top. You're going to bring in your um, embroidery hoop. You're going to take that loop and you're going to put it underneath and towards the outside of your wreath or your hoop. So you're going to have it like this. You're going to bring these two pieces up you want to try and keep them as even as possible. If it doesn't, it, it will work out. And then you're going to pull it through and pull it tight. So it forms um, somewhat of like a slip knot, I guess. Okay, let me show you that again. There's a piece of my tool. I'm going to make it where I'm folding it in half. I have my loop. I'm going to take this, put it underneath of that so that that loop is on the outside underneath. And I'm going to pull these two pieces right on through, just like that. And we'll do one more. Again, I put my pieces together, folded them in half, and I'm just going to take this underneath. There's my little loop. Go ahead and pull these through. And sometimes it might give you a little more difficulty, but just try to get them as evenly as possible. And you're going to keep kind of scrunching these together 
because you don't want that to show through. If you're concerned with the color, you could always paint it whatever color that you're using as far as your tool. Um, you could paint it white if you want to. Uh, I didn't find a need to do that. So I'll show you one more time. Taking your tool, holding it in half, going underneath like that. There's your open hole and you're going to pull it through, bring that down and tighten. Now, the one thing you do have to remember that you don't want to end up doing is turning it the opposite way and creating it. So we were caught, we were going this way. You don't want to accidentally go this way and I'll show you why. If I was to go this way, then my knot is going to look different. Even if I'm going to pull it out to this side, you'll notice this has an over top of it where this is under. So you don't want to do that. You want to make sure you're going so it's pointing outward, taking it and pulling it through. If you make a mistake, it's super easy to take apart. And that's all you're going to do. You're going to continue that all the way around. Once you've completed that, then you would go ahead and take your cord or your um, string, whatever you're going to use, and you're just going to create some sort of a, a hook or something to hang it by. That's all. Uh, depending on where you're going to hang it, what length you're going to hang it, if you want to make multiple ones, that's up to you. And then, like I said, with what I did on my wreath, I'll bring it back in again. I just used little die cuts and the white ones I just put some glitter on. And I've just adhered these with glue dots. Now, I would not recommend if you're putting it glue dots on there to use this outside. And of course, since we're using cardstock, that wouldn't be wise either. But um, if you use some sort of a little plastic ornament or something like that, you would be fine. But um, I'm going to use this for inside, so I'm comfortable with that. And, you know, I'm not going to have a problem. If you're only going to make this as a one-time thing where it's just going to be a Christmas wreath or it's just going to be a Valentine's wreath, then I would probably either use a permanent glue or a hot glue or something to glue your ornaments on. And then I just made a little poofy bow and, and put it up top. And that's all that's to it. It's super easy to do makes a really pretty um, decoration and it would also make a really nice little housewarming gift or a holiday gift if you're invited to a holiday party to bring something like that over. So I hope you've enjoyed this and that you'll give it a try and I'll see you back here next time.